All right, hello, and welcome back to the Crossword Vlog, aka Clog, Tuesday edition, and that's it. <laughs> it's just Tuesday edition today. Um, we solved the Monday, as you might have expected, and um, apparently we've solved six Tuesdays in a row before this. Don't anticipate too many problems with this, but the last time I said that before a Tuesday, uh, it took me like 30 minutes to solve a puzzle or something. I had an awful time. So let's see if I've called the same sort of <laughs> misfortune on myself once again. Let's get it started. Ooh, so this is going to be go directly to jail, but yeah, I have no idea what's going on with all these things. Um, Janet Yellen, I believe, is the Treasury Secretary. Um, oh, it's probably January, February... March, April, May, June. Um, okay, let's see if this is actually, yeah, yeah. Marianas Trench, um, July, Jules Verne, August, I uh, don't know the, that one. Uh, September, sepia filter. October, duo times four. Okay, uh, November novel, uh, deck, uh, decor, December. So it's a month of the year sort of theme. Very cool. Um, Alan Alda, I think, was in A Marriage Story, now that I watched it. Uh, to turn off the lights. Alexa, turn off the lights. Um... Fencing partners. Okay, exoskeleton is a thing. Dish, uh, tamales. Um, uh, getting on in years is an idiom. Neighbors are fencing partners because you might have a fence between you and your neighbor. Uh, jelly donut lacks a hole. Uh, Pez dispensers. Febreze to it. That was easy. Um, okay. I guess you use five dice in Yahtzee. Very important person. X's and O's. Um, or a no. N's? I don't know. Oh, like in the alphabet. Uh, I guess idols, and then Orly is the Paris airport, or one of them. There's also Charles de Gaulle. Um, by way of via, they fly in a V. Uh, Marianas Trench, deepest place in the ocean, I guess, just in general. Moray Eel, run for office, acute angles. Um, eight and you renew your renew your vows. Uh, maybe Una. So surname that's an anagram of no lie. Um, O'Neill, like Sha Shaquille O'Neill. Ed, take effect. Set in. Yeah, I always get my E's and I's mixed up. Buddies, pals, Junta, Mean Joe, maybe? Mean Joe Green, yeah. Um, deserves, earns, Asner, sure. Chain of Polynesian Island, a lay, which is like a chain of flowers. Uh, reveled in mm, nomadic wanderer. Uh, a cushy job. And then an emu. Do you have to? I must. RT pretentious. Posh. An IPA. India pale ale. Uh, Leviticus is the book after Exodus in the Bible, I guess. Um, you roll a log. Hmm. 
many informally. Lots of. A prey means after in French. Um, formal informant. Um, chief financial officer, I guess. Black Forest Ham is a thing in the past, maybe a go. Haiti is a Caribbean country. Um, they all represent months. There's octet in general. Uh, maybe an in. Maybe Agnes. Um, tall dorsal fin, sailfish, I think. I'm it. Hoggy doggy, Dios mio. Bill worth a hundred bones. I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, Chichen Itza is a Mayan temple, putting up a fight. Um, played with a mallet. Reveled in. Okay, give up would be a mitt. Is it like Jody? Or no, this is Lego. And then Lori, probably. OG curve is a thing that I only know because of crosswords and I don't like. <laughs> um, gold something maybe? Gloried in a gong played with mallet. Um, you something gold. Jar Yaromir. Gold could be like something to do with honey, but. Sky, maybe a loft, a stoolie. Is that a thing? Uli's, Uli's gold or something. Uli could be like someone's name. Maybe get to Yag. Oh, that likes arrive at y Yager. Okay, let's look at this. <laughs> Bill worth a hundred bones. In Battle of Normandy City, a hundred bones. I mean, a hundred dollars. Is that what that means? So, what's a hundred dollar bill? Like, it's a Benjamin. A <laughs> hundred bones. What on earth? High in the sky. Jules Verne. Arrive at. You would think this would be get to. Could it be Uli's gold? What other name? Wait, is Uli even a name? Oh boy. Yeah, no kidding. Okay.
just going to do a quick every letter here before I actually um, go through the grid. Oh, God. I don't even know what letter I typed there. Um, let's go ahead and admire the puzzle. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's some problems here, I would say. Um, yeah, which is crazy because, like, I solved it quite quickly because the theme helps out so much. Like, once you once you see what's going on, you're, and, like, I saw Jan, and I was like, wow, that fits well, and there's a bunch of these, so maybe, <laughs> maybe it's all just months, and Jan was the first one, so I was like, hey, maybe it's really just in order. Um, so I really liked that part, um, and I thought, actually, a lot of parts of this grid were quite solid. You know, the Marianas Trench next to Ocean, this entire corner is quite clean. Um, really, this entire top half is, is very solid, but, like, this middle part was quite rough. I mean, Augie, Augie Doggy, I'm not sure what that is. I mean, it wasn't too bad because, you know, you get three of the letters for free, so you're like, well, probably rhymes with doggy. Um, so that was, like, fair at least, but this cross, a C spot, I've never heard that in my life. I, I assume it's C because um, C is Roman numeral for 100. That felt rough. Um, Uli's gold was a little rough. Um, and then, uh, like, Yagir, Yaramir Yagir, um, that's a that's a bit obscure and like the gr in the name makes it a little hard to feel confident um yeah and then also eft i don't even know what that is supposed to stand for like electronic financial transaction um if you're gonna have eft in the grid at least like throw a bone to the habitual crossword solvers such as myself and clue that as a baby salamander in eft <laughs> um, but I, I, I think a regular, an irregular solver, sorry, would be just as befuddled by either of these. So there you go. Um, I got the hiccups because <laughs> of this, but even with all of that, like, I still have a soft spot, spot in my heart for this puzzle. I think I had a really awful finish. I think Una and UPA and EFT and IPA. IPA is not bad. <laughs> uh, but OG, there's just so much bad fill in here. I, I, I'm going to give this an average score, a 5 out of 10, because I have a soft spot in my heart for this puzzle. Um, <laughs> but I think, I think if I was objectively grading it, I would give it a, a 4 to, yeah, probably a 4 out of 10. But... 5 out of 10, official score. I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.